I really wish I could stop making these sorts of videos, but the person who keeps antagonizing me, who's been harassing me for the past couple of months, they will not stop. And so I'm making another video along the same lines. If you are aware of the YouTube scene, then you know very well that bigger creators often get first dibs as far as representation from YouTube reps, and they often get the benefit of the doubt. People are inclined to believe the person with a bigger following, whether it's delusion or because the person with a bigger following obviously has more people advocating for them. There's a popular YouTuber by the name of Moist Critical, Charlie. And for the past couple of months, I've been <clears throat> encountering many problems with this fellow. The thing is, Charlie actually lives really close to me. And <clears throat> I would hate to have to make it personal and handle this online situation in real life. After all, I've never really been too aligned with Sneeko's ideology. Watching your fucking clips, tell that to your chat. Let's pull up. Were you in Tampa? Say that shit to my face. I ain't watching no clips on Twitch on a bot platform. I know you're listening to me right now. You in Tampa? Tell that shit to my face. If you really stand on it, if you're a real man, stand on it and tell me to my face. To the guy to Miami. Hey. Now, this all started months ago. And if you are familiar with the start, then you are, but I will, I'll go over it again. There was a day that I had uploaded a video, a no yeast pizza tutorial. And immediately after uploading that video, I see a video soon after from Moist Critical, a pizza, a pizza video in which him and Young Gravy, I don't know, I don't know if it was Young Gravy actually, him and someone else, they make a pizza from scratch. And guess what ingredient they use? Yeast. Now you may think it stops there, but over the months, there were a lot more coincidences and I'll just list a couple of the more recent ones. From the very obvious news segment in which we both use CGI to make it seem like we're in some sort of news station while we talk about just random things that happen during the week or just random videos. It's more than just strange occasions, occurrences. He literally got a cat a couple months after I got a cat that looks the exact same as my cat. Like it's so eerily similar. It's like, bro, you could you could get a cat, but why'd you have to get one that looked like mine? Look at the dates on these videos. Don't you find it odd that soon after or on the exact same date, Charlie is uploading videos that are exactly like mine? One thing that I have to acknowledge is that in content creation, there are big things that happen. And of course, there's weeks where everyone's making the same video. Now, that's completely different all the way to the point of which whenever I release one of my cooking videos, he'll release some sort of cooking related video. And one of the oddest parts about it is typically I call Charlie out in my cooking videos because how is it that someone with no merit can be a critique or a judge of cuisine the man can't even cook himself how's he about to go bash fast food he doesn't understand what it takes to cook he doesn't understand what goes into it it doesn't make sense. That would be like getting a basketball player in kindergarten on the rec team 
to be a referee for the NBA. Now, at the end of the day, I don't want to make this too serious, but I just had to address it because I looked today and I saw some more coincidences along the line. Someone please help me. Uh, I can't live like this anymore. Leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching my widget.